everyone, how are you guys? I'm back, I'm so excited, and today's video is going to be another declutter in the declutter series, and today we're going to be decluttering my blushes. I'm really excited about this because I just have so much stuff, and blushes are the one product that I kind of have a weakness for, so I just love having options and things like that, but you know what, I've realized, you know, I'm never going to go through all these blushes in my lifetime, and I'd rather them have a new home and have someone really, really love them. So all the blushes that I will be decluttering in this video that you will see, they're either going to be passed along to family and friends, sold on my website which is down below if they are sellable or just toss in the trash if they're just too old so I don't want this intro to be too long because you guys hate long intros and I get it but um, yeah today's look if you're curious I don't know I went for something different my hair is up in this twisted sort of bun thing that I did I tried something new I don't know if I like it I never usually have my hair up but it is what it is today. And pretty minimal for face makeup. I have a foundation on. What foundation am I wearing today? I think I'm wearing the L'Oreal Infallible, the Pro Matte. I think that's what I'm wearing. I honestly think that's like the only foundation that matches me right now. So I've been getting color and that's my darkest foundation. Um, but I'm just wearing bronzer, highlight, barely any eye makeup, just some liner and mascara. And my lip color, I wanted to mention to you guys if I get questions, it's the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the color dazed so that's what's on my lips um my top today is very different i never really wear crop tops it's a coral crop top it comes to about like right here and then the arms are so cute they're like this tulip or i don't even know what you call it like this ruffle kind of thing super cute i was kind of digging it but i really hope you guys enjoy this video i'm super excited to be back and let's get started Okay everyone, let's jump right into this. There are quite a few blushes to go through as you can see and these are all the ones that I have that are my individually kind of just packaged blushes. Clearly I have palettes and everything but let's go through these first. So to my right we're going to have our keep pile and to my left we will have our pass pile. Alright, so starting at the front here, I have a Milani Rose Blush. This one is in Lady Rouge. And honestly, I probably only used it a few times, and the rose embossing is still in there, so I'm going to pass this along. Then we have here the number seven blush. I actually got this recently in the mail, and this one is in Peach Velvet. You guys, I have been loving this blush so, so much. I am definitely keeping this guy. And then we have two Smashbox blushes here. Um, let's see. This one is in Pose, and it's a matte. And then this one is in Chiffon. Now, I loved this, this one right here in Chiffon for the longest time, but I think it's getting a little old, so I think I might just toss this one. And then this one right here in Pose, I think I'm going to pass this one along. All right, then we have the Physicians Formula Happy Booster Blush in Natural. If you've been watching me for a while, this is another color that I absolutely adore, and it's kind of that color that you can kind of just go to if you don't know what to wear, and it goes with everything, but, you know, I gave it enough love, and I'm just going to pass that guy along. Then we have, oh, let's do this. This Rimmel London Blush has been through so many declutters. Rimmel doesn't even make their blushes like this anymore in this packaging, but this is more... I think just nostalgic for me because this was probably one of my first blushes ever and this one's in berry and I hate to keep it just to keep it but this, this is one of those things that I'm, I am definitely going to keep. Um, my cousin and I love this blush and it just kind of reminds me of my childhood so I'm going to keep this one but trust me when I say I will be getting rid of a lot of these blushes. We have some MAC blushes. This one's the Marilyn Monroe collection, The Perfect Cheek. Looks like this. Honestly, I've probably only used this a few times and it doesn't really do much for me. So I'm going to pass. Then I have the color Ripe for Love. I don't remember what collection this was from, but it has this beautiful brown packaging. I actually do really love this color, but honestly, I think even like the number seven one is so close to this, right? Yeah, I don't, they're so similar. And honestly, I, I never reach for this guy, so pass. All right, these are going to be hard. This is the MAC Neo Sci-Fi collection here, the orange packaging, and this color is in X Rocks. This one I actually really do like, but I don't really reach for it much, so I'm gonna pass. This one right here I am definitely keeping. It's called Spaced Out, and it just has a really beautiful finish to it that I haven't found in any other 
blush from MAC or even any other blush from any brand. So I'm keeping this one. Moving on, my Hello Kitty collection blush. This one is in Fun and Games. I have to keep him, love that. Then I have this Rihanna blush in the color Bad Girl Gone Good. And it looks like this. It's a little bit more of that nude shade. Um, it's really pretty. I love the packaging of this, but I really, oh, let me swatch it. Oh, it is so pretty. All right, I think I'm gonna keep this one. Oh my gosh, see when I start swatching, I wanna keep them all. This one here is the only Tarte blush that I have left. I used to have so many Tarte blushes and then I decluttered all of them. So this is the last one I have and it's called Exposed. This is probably one of my favorite blushes ever, so I'm gonna keep this one. Now we're getting into some of my MAC, uh, what are these called? The mineralized skin finishes that I use as blushes. And if you guys know me, you know I'm a collector of these. Gosh, they're all falling over. Let's lay them down. So these are going to be really hard. So this one here is called Stereo Rose. I'm sorry, the glare on this is so bad. Stereo Rose. Oh, this one's gorgeous. I'm going to keep this one. And this one was a very popular one. I use this all the time. This one here is from the, I think the Venomous Villains collection. This one's called Briar Rose. And it looks like this. I never reach for this ever. It's this beautiful plum color but I never wear it past. Right, this one, one of my favorites is Brunette from MAC. I use this as a blush. It looks a little bit dark, but I love it for that bronzy kind of cheek, and I love this. I use this all the time. Another one that I really like is Cheeky Bronze. This was one of my favorites for a long time. I use it as, almost as like a blush highlighter, but lately I haven't reached for it, so I'm going to say goodbye to this one. Okay, and this one is my all-time favorite, all-time favorite MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. They have not re-promoted this at all lately in the last year, a few years, several years. And this is called MAC So Ceylon. This is my favorite blush bronzer. It's just, it's gorgeous and I will never get rid of this. I think I have a backup too, but I love this. I'm doing pretty well so far, I think. All right, so let's do this section right here. I have a MAC blush in the back, still in the box, but I have used it, I think, once or twice. This is from the Archie's collection, and this one is in Veronica. You can see Veronica's face on it, and it looks like that. I don't wear blushes in this kind of tone and shade, so I'm going to pass this along. Whoopsies. Okay, let's do, let's just do my Burberry blushes. Burberry blushes, I have two of them. This one is an Earthy, which I love for that nude kind of cheek. Oh, that's so pretty. You know what? If I'm gonna keep, oh, I'm still debating if I wanna keep this Rihanna one. All right, you know what? Let's. I'm gonna put this back in the container and we're gonna come back to that. All right, and then this Burberry one is another favorite of mine. It's called Cameo, which is literally that perfect natural blush color. Like I'm telling you, this goes with any kind of eye look or lipstick, it's so pretty. Keep that. Okay, and then I have this NARS Blush Highlight Duo. Um, this clearly, if you can see, has received a lot of love. I definitely used this a lot when I first got it, but I no longer reach for it, so I'm going to pass this along to a new family. All right, and then I have my Chanel blush right here, and this one is in the color 84 Accent. I think this was a limited color, and it's honestly a beautiful kind of neutral shade. I love the finish of this, and I love how it looks, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Right, so put this back in its sleeve. Okay, let's see. I have a Becca blush right here called Songbird. So Becca Mineral Blush in Songbird. This one is gorgeous. I love this color in the summertime just because it has that corally tone, but it has this really beautiful uh, finish to it. So I'm gonna keep this one. All right, I have two of the Makeup Revolution matte blushes this one is in fusion which i wore this a lot but i think i'm going to pass this guy along and this one is in nude which i've also worn quite a few times but i have so many colors like this i'm going to pass all right my two rock and republic blushes they no longer make these these are just discontinued like years and years ago this one is called bedroom 
which I, I love this. It's a perfect matte pink cheek. And I just, I can't get rid of my Rockin' Republic blushes. I, I don't know why, it's so weird. This one's called Lust, but, or should I get rid of them? I've had them for so long. I reach for them once in a while, but, all right, this is maybe. These are, this is the maybe section here right now. <laughs> I have two of my Hello Kitty face powders, Tahitian Sand and Pretty Baby. So this is Tahitian Sand. All right, this color honestly doesn't do much for me. I love the packaging of this, but I don't think I need this. I, it, I just, I'm gonna pass. I know, Hello Kitty, I love this collection, but I'm just gonna pass. This one's called Pretty Baby, which is a really light pink, and honestly, this probably won't show up on me either, but I'm gonna keep one of them. I'm gonna keep this compact, so I'll keep that. Uh, this is another Hello Kitty, wait, it's the same color. Oh my gosh, I have two of these. Fun and Games from Hello Kitty collection. Since I'm gonna keep one, I'm gonna pass one. I didn't even know I had two. One must have been a gift or something. Uh, my MAC Barbie collection blush in the color Fab. This blush is so old, um, but it's the only thing I have from the MAC Barbie collection, so I'm gonna keep this guy. All right, my NYX blush in terracotta. This is so old, and I gave it a lot of love, but it is so old. Pass. My Benefit Rockateur box blush. I love this guy. Love. I can't get rid of it. It's so pretty. Okay, on to the last section over here. I have three of these Pixie cream blushes. Honestly, I am going to get rid of... Which one did I not like? I'm going to get rid of this bright one, this red one here. I'm never gonna wear that, so pass. And I think, I, I really like this color, this kind of mauve color. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. And then, actually, you know what? Am I really going to wear these? Honestly, I don't really wear cream blushes. All right, I'm just going to give those away to someone. <laughs> All right, another cream stick blush. It's the Wet n Wild one from whatever collection this was. I don't use these, you guys. I have two NARS blushes here. This one is so dirty, you can see how old this is. This is my first NARS blush ever, and this is in the color, you probably can guess it, Orgasm. So, I love this color, it's gotten so much love, and can't say enough good things about it, I'm gonna keep it. All right, so then I have NARS Lovejoy, which is my other absolute favorite. It's kind of like that deeper kind of color. Love this, I'm keeping this. Actually, you know what? I don't need to keep this orgasm because I have this color in so many palettes. Am I gonna keep the palette? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pass this on. I'm probably gonna give this to my mom or something because look at the packaging. No one's gonna want to take this, but I'll give this to my mom. Then I have my one and only Marc Jacobs blush. This one is in the color shame. Oh, I'm sorry, promiscuous, but it's the shameless bl shameless blushes. I don't know if they still make these or not, but. I wore it a few times. I like it, but I don't love it, so I'm going to pass. My Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Pink Grapefruit. This is one of my favorite Laura Geller blushes ever, and I've been wearing it so much, so I'm going to keep that. All right, I have four of the Bobbi Brown Cream Blushes, and these cream blushes I do like. I don't know why I don't like the ones in the stick. I prefer ones in a compact like this. So this color is in pale pink. I love this for the summertime. They're really, really pretty just pop of pink on the cheek. I'll keep that. This one's called Fresh Melon, which is a gorgeous coral. I'm gonna keep this. This one I don't think I wanna keep. It's called Chocolate Cherry. It's just really dark. I never use it. I think I've only swatched it, so pass. And then the last one here I will probably pass as well. It's called Raspberry. Actually, that's really pretty. Nope, nope, I'm not gonna use it. Pass. We're almost done, you guys. So I have two blushes from Catrice. You guys remember, if you've been following me for a while, I got these in Europe when I was in Barcelona. This color is in Love and Peach. How pretty is that? Should I keep this one? I wanna keep one of them, I don't wanna keep both. This one is in the color Rose Royce. Ooh, I don't know. You know what, I have so many colors like this. It's kind of like neutral pink, so I'm gonna pass on this one and keep the coral one. Okay, then I have one Estee Lauder blush. This one is called Hot Sienna. I love this color. It's so beautiful, and this is my only Estee Lauder blush, so I'm going to keep that. My Bobbi Brown 
uh, Shimmer Brick in Lilac Rose. I use this one as a blush, even though it's a shimmer brick. It's really beautiful. It's super pink, and I think, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to pass on this. I don't think I've, I've only used it a few times, so I'm going to pass on this. All right, and then the last things that I have here are my sleek blushes. This one is called Aruba, bright orange. I'm never going to wear this, pass. Let's see, Sunrise. I think this one was my favorite one. Uh, was it? It's, this one's pretty dark. Hold on, we'll pause on that. Sunrise, this one's called Scandalous. Oh, these are hard to open, wow. That is intense. That is super intense. I'm gonna keep this, because I think I wanna do a fun look with this. Because for the summertime, yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I think I'm gonna pass on Sunrise, even though I do love this color, so pass on that. And then two blush palettes. I don't think I need to keep any of these. This one's so bright, it's, it's just, I'm not gonna wear that. Pass. And then this one is in Sugar. This one's gorgeous, but honestly, you guys, I never reach for these, and why should I keep that, right? You know, if I'm not gonna use it, so pass. All right, now we're back to these maybes right here in the middle. So the Rihanna blush, I don't know, you guys. This is gorgeous, but, and I love the packaging. I don't need it, pass. All right, my Rockin' Republic. Do I keep my Rockin' Republic or do I not? Oh, I really, I do reach for these. All right, I, maybe I should just keep one. Let's do some swatches. I'm trying not to do swatches because then I will keep everything. Oh my gosh, the, this one is so gorgeous. It's called Lust. Let's see, Bedroom. Oh, this formula is amazing. Wow, you guys, I love these colors. I really want to keep them both, but honestly, I don't need to. I'm going to get rid of Bedroom because it's beautiful and this is so hard, but I'm going to pass on this one and I'm going to keep Lust. So, oh, oh my gosh, it is empty. It's all done. It's all gone. So let's take this off and see. Wow, you guys, I did really, really well. So I'm going to zoom out and show you guys what I'm keeping and what I'm passing. The pass pile is humongous and I'm super excited about that. All right, you guys, so here's pretty much an aerial view of what I'm keeping, which is over here. And what I'm passing, is that not awesome? I am super proud of myself. This is still honestly a lot of blushes just for one person, especially single blushes, because I do also have palettes, you guys know that. But for now, I think this is a great kind of step in the right direction to really minimize my collection and my life, and I'm pretty proud, so. Please let me know in the comments how you think I did. I think I did pretty well. Anything that is sellable will be on my website, which is linked down below. Some things are already posted, so check it out. More things will be added um, throughout the week. So if you are a beauty guru or just a makeup collector, you guys know it gets really overwhelming. I just kind of want to minimize my collection and kind of just really hold on to my core products. So the next video should be my bronzers and highlights, yay! Which I am also a huge sucker for highlights. Bronzers, not so much. I feel like I stick to the same basic bronzers usually, but highlights, ugh, I'm such a sucker for. So I have a lot of highlights and I, oh, we're gonna be going through those as well. So that will be the next declutter video. I'm super excited to be filming and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.